This was the view of the moon uh, at sunset on a nice evening walk tonight, uh, which reminded or brought up the question, uh, how do we tell when looking at the moon like this if the moon is waxing or waning? Waxing meaning it's getting bigger, fuller, fuller every day, and waning means getting smaller. And so there's a couple ways to do that, and then I will link to an article we have on board here that uh, discusses uh, some of the things a navigator might want to know about that. But let's just address these quick issues of uh, is it waxing or waning? And we want to do it a quick, uh, quick way with some kind of nomogram. Or let's, uh, let's in a sense here, let's just, um, let's just cheat. Okay, let's cheat. Let's pull out our phone and to bring out the Tide app. And, and uh, Tide apps usually have a picture of the moon. And I'll put a link to this one. Really nice Tide app for uh, U.S. waters. And anyway, there you see this is uh, the moon we're seeing tonight. And it's getting bigger. So this moon is waxing. So we figured that out that way. That's not very much fun. Okay, so let's go back to a couple more interesting ways. And that's Tide. This is now French, a French, a French method. It may be all European, but certainly French. And it's, um, it's based on the uh, French words uh, quatre and de quatre, which is uh, waxing and waning. And you see this quatre here with a C. That's a C, so a C is quatre, and a D-shaped picture is a de quatre, except you have to know the French saying, the moon is always lying. So what did we see here? We saw a nice D, a nice D, D quatre. It's waning, ha, but the moon's lying, so it's waxing. So that's the French saying way to do it. That's pretty nice. Here's maybe an even easier way. You remember the uh, Celtic goddess symbol, which is uh, this kind of moon like this, full moon, and this kind of moon like this. And this symbol represents maiden, mother, and crone. So a young woman growing, a uh, mother and an old woman fading here, sort of. So this would be a waxing moon, full moon, and a waning moon. And we have this kind, which is a maiden waxing moon. So that's the that's a way to do that. Um, I'll leave it at that. And then I'll put a link to this article, which talks about uh, things like ways to figure out from your hands how many days you are from half moon, full moon, and so on. So I'll put that in there. That's the end of this then.